Hey, Brendan, great game tonight. We really showed them who's boss on the court. Absolutely, Mike. We played our hearts out and came out on top. It's truly satisfying to secure a victory like that. Definitely. So, what are your plans for winter break? I know it's still a few weeks away, but it's always exciting to plan ahead. Well, I'm not entirely sure yet. I've been thinking about taking a trip somewhere. How about you? I've been considering that too. It would be a great way to unwind and have some fun. Maybe we can plan a trip together. That sounds like a fantastic idea. And since we're both going to the same place, we could give each other a ride home from our basketball practices and games during winter break. Absolutely. It would save us both time and energy. Plus, we can catch up and discuss our plans on the way. Perfect. Now let's talk about the destination. I heard there are pretty good conditions for skiing in the mountains nearby. Oh, that's fantastic. I've always wanted to try skiing. It would be so much fun to hit the slopes with you. The atmosphere is nice up there too, with the snow-covered peaks and all. I agree. It would give us a chance to enjoy the scenic beauty and have an adventurous break. However, we need to ensure that the schedule is neither convenient nor easy due to our sports commitments. That's true. Our practices, games, and other responsibilities can be quite demanding. We don't want our plans to conflict with them or cause any unnecessary complications. Exactly. We need to be mindful of our time in order to balance our studies, sports, and personal lives effectively. I don't know what the full job entails for us, but hopefully it will be easy enough to manage. Agreed. We need to find a way to make it work within our busy schedules. I think staying at someone's place near the skiing destination could be a good option for us. That's a brilliant idea. It would give us a comfortable place to rest and rejuvenate after a long day of skiing. Plus, it could save us some money as well. Do you have any friends or acquaintances living there? Yes, actually. I have a cousin who lives nearby. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if we crash at his place for the duration of the trip. I'll give him a call and check if it's feasible. Oh, that's awesome. Staying at your cousin's place would be perfect. We can save on accommodation costs and enjoy the trip even more. Absolutely. I'll make sure to give him an update on our plans and see if everything aligns. In case my schedule permits, you are welcome to join us. It would be great to have you there. Thanks, Mike. I really appreciate it. I'll keep my fingers crossed and hope that everything works out for both of us. No problem, Brendan. We're a team on the court and off it too. We might as well make the most of our winter break and create amazing memories together. Definitely, Mike. I'm looking forward to it. Let's hang out at home tomorrow and finalize the details for our trip. It will give us a chance to plan more efficiently. Sounds like a plan. Tomorrow it is. Let's get some rest now and prepare ourselves for another day of hard work and commitment. We've got so much to look forward to in the coming weeks. Absolutely, Mike. Good night, and see you tomorrow. Choose the best answer for each question. What sport do Mike and Brendan play? Football. Basketball? Baseball? Hockey? Answer B. Basketball. What are they planning to do during winter break? Go skiing in the mountains. Go surfing at the beach. Go camping in the forest. Go sightseeing in the city. Answer A. Go skiing in the mountains. Where do they plan to stay near the skiing destination? At a hotel? At a hostel? At Mike's cousin's place? At Brendan's aunt's place? Answer C. At Mike's cousin's place. What do they need to balance with their trip plans, their studies, sports, and personal lives, their budget, time, and health, their hobbies, 
interests, and goals, their family, friends, and teachers. Answer A. Their studies, sports, and personal lives. When do they decide to finalize the details for their trip? Tonight, tomorrow, next week, next month. Answer B. Tomorrow.